Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. What of it? Come here, partner. We don't mean no trouble. I hope not. I'm just a farmer, friend, and... I don't have no money on... You're talking bullshit, mister! <laughs> Such a chore. The horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. I... It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. 
Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail! La repasadita, John. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Eh, me puedo cortar el pelo de alguna manera aquí? No parece. Bueno. O sea, el pelo no, la barba. Que es que. No, no me gustan las barbas.
unos meses después. But that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. No, I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Esa escena con Barbote no me agrada tanto. I've 
Porque como yo, es un enfermito de este juego seguramente. Por eso digo que... No sé por qué esta escopeta tiene balas y la otra no tiene balas. Está cerrado. No me queda otra que, comer, que comerme la misión con barbote. Sorry, mister. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to. Enjoy your drink in peace. I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Get out of here! 
Don Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, it's legal, and usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. Get back on your horse, John. Te vas a esperar. Hello again. You new in town? Hey, you're welcome here. <laughs> what are we doing? My pa never did a better job himself, I reckon. Venga, vamos. Eh, eh. Ahora sí. Que es que me tenía que cortar la Chávez. Entiéndeme. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Maca. Maca? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him. Uh, about a year back? Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> This country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. The okay. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Yes, 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 yes. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen a You seen a bald New Yorker name of Nathan Kirk about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here, it's resort town, you see, the Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season. Good Lord. Hey. 
Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fella from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Well, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. Easy enough. Ah, go for it. Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Just a friend. Stop. Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. No, oh, got him. Oh, shut up. Come on, oh. jump on. We gotta get after him. Amanos. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are, you, how are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm... Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Vale. Hombre, pues era un detalle. 